Appreciate it. Those closely watched coronavirus models show social distancing is working. That's been raising hopes, but also fears that Americans might stop following the guidelines a little too soon and trigger a second wave of outbreaks. Alice Barr in Washington tonight with more. Hey, Alice. Devin, one prominent model that's showing a trend in the right direction assumes strict social distancing until June. So health officials are stressing now is not the time to let up. Heavily guarded hope today as new models are projecting fewer Americans may die from coronavirus than some of the bleakest estimates. But health experts warn that will quickly change if we stop social distancing. If people start going out again and socially interacting, we could see a very acute second wave very early. Despite those words of caution, President Trump tweeting today the curve is flattening and he wants to open the country sooner rather than later. In New York, the number of new hospitalizations continues to stabilize, even as patients infected weeks ago are now dying in record numbers each day. Highest single day death told yet 779 people. New York's governor saying those tragic numbers will eventually drop too. There's a big caution sign. That's if we continue doing what we're doing. But discouraging new data from the Centers for Disease Control is backing up reports that communities of color, especially African Americans, are getting sick and dying at much higher rates. Experts point to underlying health conditions and lower socioeconomics. They can't afford to miss a paycheck. They can't socially distance. They can't Uber or Lyft to work. Today, the White House and Congress negotiating the next round of aid to pump an additional $250 billion into a program to help small businesses stay afloat 